to infinity and beyond. Hello everybody, Roger and James here from this Gaming. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the recently relaunched Disney Magical Dice and Enchanted um, board game, which relaunched this last week on iOS and Android devices. Um, this game kind of had been around for a while, but they basically decided to completely take it offline, take it from the store, relaunch it with brand new look, brand new style. Um, so it kind of went away from that, like, I would almost say like Japanese manga, big eyes, cute faces, and they went down the line of just basically making Disney Infinity characters on a on a on a board, um, which we're, we're going to talk about. It there was definitely something on my Twitter feed that I'm sure you did as well. Um, but um, I did have a couple of videos. I'll probably be playing this a little bit and putting some videos up over the coming weeks as well because. I'm trying to add a little bit more um, variety to this, um, the YouTube channel. Um, but my first my first game through, because I, I think I played the game when it came out and went, okay, never play that ever again. So I played through a couple of games. Very much quickly just realized this is just Monopoly. This is just straight oh, up Monopoly. Yeah. Disney Monopoly. Um, online. Um, I played a few online games. I played some of the Saga um, single stuff. Um, kind of odd, really. I think I jumped straight into the online gameplay and defeated a few people, and then realised there was a single story, and kind of was like, "Well, I know how to do all of this because I've already done it." Yeah, that was very, very weird. Because the very first thing they do is they toss you into a game, which I was like, "Oh, maybe it's a bot pretending to be a human," because that's a fairly yeah. common tutorial technique. I was like, "No, I actually am." pretty sure that's a human and i've got a pretty big advantage over this person so i kind of feel bad at them because it, it definitely stacks it in your favor for your first game yeah and then you have to play one more game to get yeah. to level two to unlock the story mode and that's against a person yeah and then you unlock the story mode and it's like all right here we're gonna have a tutorial yeah, I was... press this button to hold the dice I'm like what the heck are you doing yeah, that was that. Was pro I'm glad it wasn't just me because I'm like, going, how did I miss the, the single player stuff and jump straight into the online one? I mean, the games are quite long. I was, you know, I was looking at around about 15, 10, 15 minutes a game. So compared to like a lot of mobile games, that was quite good, I felt, in terms of it's maybe not quite so much a quick one. I mean, I think if you're playing against a friend, you know, you can take it in turns and it might be like, oh, I'm waiting for this person to take a turn. Um, and so that might be a way of kind of stretching out the level and obviously you can have multiple people playing um but it's definitely disney monopoly i do i i did enjoy it i pro i am going to continue playing it because i think it but it might i might not be something i play every day but they're gonna have they've got the random chests and the different characters um and you can level them up and all the rest of it and you can upgrade them i mean i unlocked i've seen i've unlocked quite a lot of characters already there's a little mini event going on um but I'm not really too, entirely too sure. It's a bit like Top Trumps. You find the one that you like, and that's probably about it. Yeah, and I've noticed that um, they have the free chest, which goes every four yeah. hours. And I've gotten quite a few characters just out of that chest yeah. by itself. Um, I've already got a roster of like 12 characters. Yeah. Some of them are even already level two. My Peter Pan, which was my starting character, uh, is already level three. So... You get progression very quickly. I mean, um, listeners will remember me kind of railing against Disney Emoji Blitz for how long it takes to to level up and yeah. get new emojis. This is the complete opposite. This is like, here you go. You want to play as Beast? All right, sure. There's Beast. There's Beauty. There's Lumiere. There's, you know, the various Toy Story characters. I'm like, all right, well, you know, I'm never actually going to play with most of these characters, right? <laughs> no, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing as well that the way that they've set this up, they've really opened it up for new characters to be constantly being added, new events, um, sliding down that. I mean, NetMarble are making this, so they've done Future Fight, they have done um, Star Wars, so they've actually got like one of each of the three at the minute. Uh, I think the artistic style, I think this actually looks I know a lot of people say this is a downgrade. And it isn't. Personally, I think this actually looks looks better. It looks more like a board game. I appreciate that this time around, at least, the characters are the actual characters. Because if I remember correctly from the original, um, there were there was a mix of the characters being the characters and other times like an avatar kind yeah. of thing in a costume for the character yeah. like chip and dale in particular i seem to remember like you had your face just yeah. popping right out of their their uh their mask and just like it's a little bit like disney yeah, universe no. oh, yeah a little disney that, universe that yes. kind of uh, thing so no i prefer i do prefer the the way that this one looks 
Um, we will mention now, um, Disney Infinity fans will take one look at some of these poses and realise Jack um, Sparrow, Tinkerbell, and, and also Peter Pan, which we would have had, they are literally, those ca the design models of those characters are identical to Disney Infinity. I mean, they're in the same pose, they look the same. I mean, either they've been given that image from Disney and said, do this, or they literally have gone, hey, look, all these Disney Infinity characters have already been done up and we can speed the design process up because they're already on set. Because even Mike and, um, like, uh, I think even Stitch, they look, I mean, they look pretty similar. Sully... Um, yeah, I think he's even in the same, I mean, it's quite easy for them to kind of put, just put a character on our thing, but the design sort of connections definitely, I mean, I know on my Twitter feed that a lot of people are like, oh, this is a good way of reusing the aspects. I mean, there was a, a mix that I saw. Now, I, I only follow a handful yeah. of people because my Twitter is actually very new, got completely reset uh, by choice. And, um... Yeah, th there was a mix of people like, oh, well, I'm glad to see that Disney Infinity lives on in this form. Yeah. And then other people being like, why are you kicking us while we're down? <laughs> it's like, yeah, and I, and I fall a little bit under A, a little bit under B. I figure, though, the real problem I have with it isn't moral. It's simply what it says about the game, which is it really feels like there's someone either at Netmarble, Netmarble or yeah. Disney, probably at Disney, who's just like, We've got all these art assets that we've commissioned, mm. and now we're not using them. Yeah. And we've got this other game over here, which wasn't doing well, and we're relaunching anyway. Yeah. Let's just save some money and mash everything up together, mm. which, you know, obviously I'm speculating. But if there's any truth to that, then it's worrying mm. about what Disney, you know, is expecting from this game, and their, their hopes are not particularly high. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I look at that... It might literally just be along the lines of to get this game relaunched out and remaking money. They speeded the process up by taking a few assets just to kind of get it done quicker. Because um, Mickey and Minnie look completely different. Um, they do. I'm um, even Buzz Lightyear. He's kind of looks like he's got a different stance. Um, -ish, yeah, but he's very. But they're all. But then the, some of the Disney Infinity characters were so close to their. Some were really close to the to the actual right. movies, and some of them weren't. Um, the more jagged kind of faces and stuff. But as a whole. Um, I always used to love playing Monopoly as a kid. You know, we used to sit around as a family. It was a, you know, two, three hour event. Usually, my da brother would get bored and end up like playing with my dad, and just he just my dad would end up taking over all his money, and it would usually just come down to me and dad versus you know, mum would get kicked out because me and dad just went on the buying spree, just buying everything you possibly could, kind of reward, risk and reward of. It was better to just risk buying everything you possibly could with every bit of money and hoping that you don't get stung later and that you get you get somebody out. And then I literally was just, I've been playing it and it's like, yeah, this is exactly the same strategy. I've just buy everything the minute I land on it. If I've got no money and I go bankrupt them and then that's just the risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> yeah, uh, in my limited experience with the game, it's definitely um, buy every single thing that you can possibly afford. Uh, take advantage of the fact that you don't have to have every single one of a color to stick a hotel on it or what they yeah. call it, a feature feature landmark. Um, and if you land on someone else's and it's only got houses on it, you can actually pay double the price on top of the, the yeah. rent to just buy, buy it out from under. I was like, yep, that is mine now. Yeah, I, uh, I was doing that a lot. I mean, you definitely kind of, that's, a, that's something different to Monopoly. I was, I was playing a game last night. And I was in second place. And I'd been chasing this guy or this person online for the whole whole thing. And I was losing. But then they landed on one of on like I think my basically Mayfair with a with a landmark on it. Boom. Bankrupt. Yep. <laughs> it was just like just literally in one one swoop he landed on my Mayfair. Um, I'm gonna be honest, they're all gonna just be where the locations are gonna be are gonna be with all these businesses. Right. Oh, that's Oak End Road, and that's because even the value of the properties are to say Oak End Road is the cheap one at the beginning, and Mayfair is the expensive one at the end. And they've even done the same boards, the, the, the cost. It's not as if they even moved them around, you know, the gels in the same place. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm used to completely different names for those. So I'm, I'm used to boardwalk down at, at the uh, yeah, end and all that stuff. So it's the right yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just, just, 
<laughs> I'm just specifying for people who are like, the heck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. The obviously they had different names for the English and American versions, but yeah, I have no idea what most of the places were called. I know they're themed yeah. after Disney properties. Like I remember there was like an aerial property. There's oh, some yeah. that are in Disney World. There are a couple other uh, mm-hmm. shows as well or movies, but. Yeah, I was like, oh, that that one's right in the middle. That's a railroad. That yeah. one's a utility. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, there's the red block. There's the green block. And it's like, <laughs> well, I think they've slightly mixed up because I think the utilities are now fortune cards. Um, but, um, they've, they've, but it looks like they've got rid of the community chest and the um, chance and kind of right. I don't. They well, have because it looked like they had a lot less. They had a few. Because they've been taking out, and it's the fortune, if I remember rightly, they've, they've got... See, this is how close it is to Monopoly. It literally is... If you've played Monopoly, you know how to play this game. Oh, yeah. Um, and in fact, you know more than you need to know because this game has simplified certain aspects. Mm-hmm. The utilities are no longer you know, 4% or 10% if you own both. It's mm-hmm. literally just, oh, you landed on it? Okay, that's what you pay. And next time, you're going to pay double that. Yeah. And then the next time after that, you're going to pay an additional amount on top of that. Um, also, at least on the boards I was playing on, instead of having uh, three sets or th- three properties per set, mm. all the pro- all the sets were only two. Yeah. Uh, and I figure maybe on like the two v two board, which I didn't get to play yeah. on, that's probably bigger because there's more players. But the one v one is definitely much smaller than mm. a regular monopoly. Like if you roll double sixes, you're not just jumping from like one board to the next you're you're making like half yeah. a circuit out of it i mean there's going to be lots of different backgrounds and different themed um boards as well um i think the way they've set this up i think it it definitely slides more into the into events i think we are going to see events i I'm di- i don't know how much this is going to work in terms of because i've seen you know we've watched a few of the um like the facebook groups and and people are playing it, but I don't. It's. I think that event mentality is what's going to be needed to keep the momentum for this. And I think having new characters. I mean, I know at the minute they put in the Beauty and the Beast ones. Personally, I feel like they should have actually held off on them. I don't think they needed them at launch because um, it should have just been about getting people going. Um, so the no, feedback. I think there's been a, like a real like weird mix of. I think people that played the game before and liked the old game. Um, but then they they got to be looking at this going that uh, that style wasn't working for people. Yeah, I mean, it definitely wasn't working for me. No. So uh, it and it wasn't really all that memorable. At least using the infinity, they know it's a design that people will recognize, even if they weren't infinity fans. Mm-hmm. You know, if you've gone into GameStop, Game Toys R Us, or whatever, then you saw the posters, so you at least attribute it. Well, I think even if you are completely, if you've no idea what that what that game was. It's much more like, okay, the character designs are much more just boom. That's that one. Oh, collect collect all the Disney characters is what we do in every every game, and they oh, spread them out. Um, I, this just feels better than an an avatar. It just feels much more in, in much more likely to bring in um, event stuff. I mean, they've got the 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 random box generators as well to collect bits and pieces um, so you can buy gems and stuff like that. So I think overall, um, I'm definitely going to be, um, obviously with the website we'll be keeping up, but, and I am hoping with the events and stuff that this kind of will keep going. It's, it's nice as well, kind of, in some ways, again, having a mobile game which is so different to everything else that we're playing. You know, it's not a, just a free to, you know, match free to win. It's not, okay, it's ripping off an entire board game. I mean, whether or not they, mi- I mean, it's a kind of thing. This enchanted board game. I can't see them like flicking over and playing different kinds of board games. I think they've they've got this monopoly system. Um, but no, I, I think it's good. And I also think it's not quite nice to how long the matches are. And I think if you've got friends where you're playing against each other, I don't know how it works in terms of like maybe like say we we're having a game. I have a dice, but you're at work, and so I've got to wait till you do your dice, and so you maybe got multiple games on the go. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should try that out yeah, sometime. Yeah, we'll try that out. Uh, Cause, yeah, it's, I, mean, I, I think you can, you can connect through Facebook or yeah. something like that, and that's probably how you get friends. And Yeah, so. definitely as a kind of um, my initial reaction, and just, I mean, like I said, I've probably only played about six or seven games so far because I'm just going for this. And I will be probably continuing to be doing this for like probably one, one a night um, for a while. 
and keeping an eye on it. But no, I'm generally my, I I enjoy I've enjoyed playing it, and I think that was something. It's like okay, no, this is this is this is different. This is good. I I, sh I did actually show it to my wife last night as well, and said, well, if you want to play something a bit different, maybe check this one out. Because sometimes she's always like, what are you playing? What are you what are you got? You need some want some tips and stuff on some different things. But yeah, no, I, I'd love to know what you guys think as well. Comment below. Get in touch with us at thisgaming.com. And obviously, if there's any news or anything like that for this game, we'll be putting up on the site, and there'll also be videos and stuff as well, and new content, etc. James, where can they find you? Find me heroiclegacy.com. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Later. Later.